Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this little series I'm putting together, we started off at Olympus Base on Mars, and we took off from Olympus Base, got into orbit around Mars, and we are on our way over to Phobos. I want to thank Dimitri again for putting together this adaptation of the Aurora Base so that we would have a nice looking target to land at once we get to Phobos, rather than just, you know, landing arbitrarily somewhere. I like having something to aim for. Okay, so with all that said, let's go ahead and switch camera views here and jump back into it. All right. So we are only about three kilometers away from the base, and we're moving in the direction of the base, and as luck would have it, we just happened to arrive uh, at Phobos, uh, where we were pretty much on target with the base. Like, we didn't have to... Because sometimes with these chunky rocks, you know, the base might be here and you arrive here so you have to like go around Phobos first or something which isn't a big deal but just by uh, dumb luck we happen to arrive pretty much right in front of uh, Aurora Base. Rotation. All right let's go ahead and move these last few meters over to the base so you know we've radioed down we've let everybody know we're here their supplies their coffee their whatever it is that they have requested is on the way and the relief crew Rotation. is going to come in 2000. and uh, take their position. So it's not a lot I have to worry about. So I'm going to work time forward just at 10. Don't want to go too crazy with the time warp just so we can kind of move a little bit closer to the base. And these camera views aren't going to do us a lot of good. Maybe the down camera that's off the right wing, that's off the left wing and that's going to be our down camera. I just don't think it's going to be useful, so let's just have you a map up. To land. Watch our altitudes. Back to real time. Translation. Let's go ahead and make sure we're translating Rotation. correctly, and I like to be lined up there. Translation. And we'll just move forward a little bit quicker. A little bit more time warp. So we're dialed into landing pad one, which I think is this one. I think it goes one, two, three, I think. And yeah, we have solar panels here. We have some living living area. Let's go back to real time. Rotation. Let's rotate again. Translation. All right. And we're going to just continue moving forward. We're only about two kilometers now out from the middle of the landing pad. 800. Do you want to pay attention to our altitude, though? Make sure we don't hit a crater wall, but I don't think that will be a problem on Phobos. But, but uh, we do want to be a little careful about that. Let's go ahead and rotate now Rotation. to wings level. We can We can see the base down there. We know where it's at. So now we'll go wings level to make sure that when we actually do touch down, you know, we're actually wings level with the ground and we're not trying to essentially like dock with Phobos or something. Translation. All right, so let's uh, translate a little this way. So we're vertical speed's about five, that's fine. Maybe now we can use our down camera, which in the XR2 is called XR dummy. And I can't really see the base yet, but I, I think we'll see it uh, once we get a bit closer. Rotation. Translation. All right, a little bit of time warp. So we're about a kilometer out from the middle of the pad. 700 kilom uh, meters up. 600. 500. Okay, now we can see the base in the down camera, so that'll Rotation. help us. And let's uh, rotate around this way. Translation. And let's make sure we're translating in the direction that we want to go. And maybe we can put in... Mm. Let me actually go wings level. Five hundred. Rotation. Translation. Put in just a little bit of uh, translation to push our vessel up so that we're not... Oh wait, I forgot I had the autopilot on. 
and it works a bit different in this one. It just doesn't keep you wings level only. Four hundred. So let me zero out the pitch. Zero out everything. All right, let's switch back out here. And we lost our camera. So here we go. Three hundred. Um, let me turn that back off. Warning, gear is up. Go ahead and turn on the APU, put our gear down now. Warning, gear is Rotation. up. Rotation, gear down. Warning, gear is up. If the gear is in transition, it doesn't make any gear sense to keep warning me. Locked. Translation. I start slowing things down a little bit. Hover doors are closed. 100. 75. Hover doors Fifty. are Oops, closed. 40. 30. 20. 15. 10. 8. 6. 5. 4. Just try to get near. We don't have like a proper Three. landing pad here. It's more just like a blast site, and this isn't going to help anymore. So I'm going to power that site off. Information. Rotation. APU running. So we're almost One. down. About 2.5. We should be on the Wheels ground. Down. There we are. Wheels down now. Translation. Now, one thing about landing on these really low gravity bodies is that you don't get wheel stop until you pretty much have zeroed everything uh, all your velocities out so let me rotation get rid of my rotation translation and let's make sure that rotation translation Wheels up. Okay, just trying to center things up a little bit more. We're, we're kind of like floating in a swimming pool almost. Wheels down. So I'm just trying to get a little bit closer to the middle of the pad, and then we'll focus on getting wheel stop. I'm going to say that's probably good enough. Eh, might as well. Try a little bit better than that. But yeah, we're basically on the ground. We're just kind of skidding around because there's almost no gravity. Wheel stop. All right, there we got wheel stop. All right, and I'm just going to take it even though I was trying to get a little bit closer to the middle of the pad. But um, once you get wheel stop here, I think it's a good idea to keep it because, again, you're just kind of sliding around on ice or whatever. Let's go ahead and turn off the APU and let's go and turn on external cooling. We do have a base here so we can use um, and technically Using external Orbiter engine. doesn't require you to have a base to use external cooling but I think it only makes external sense cooling online. to use the external cooling if you're actually landed at a base. So let's look at the outside now that we're landed and this is where we're at. So. So this is our Aurora base. Now, and since we have external cooling on, we have our radiator extended. Let's go ahead and warp time forward to get through the night, just so we can see what this looks like during the day. So yeah, we arrived pretty much right at uh, sunset. So again, it takes about six hours, I think. It's just warping time forward. And we'll go ahead and wait till about, you know, a couple hours after sunrise, just so the sun has had time to come all the way down into the uh, into the crater. All right. So here we are. This is what our base looks like at uh, you know basically at at Phobos noon. And we have Mars here in the background somewhere. There it is. So you can imagine, you know, if you're landed here at this base and you kind of you know come up out of this crater or something, you'd have a nice nice view of Mars out there 
in the uh, background. All right, so that is it. We have arrived at Phobos, and now, like I said, basically this is like a resupply effort. There are there have been you know a couple people here at least, uh, probably not very long. I wouldn't imagine they would be at this kind of a space station for, or this kind of a space base for very long. Uh, just due to the low gravity, they'd probably want to rotate them out with Olympus uh, fairly often. But it's a pretty decent facility. You know, we've got solar panels here to provide power. We have storage tanks here for fuel, water, stuff like that. We have crates uh, of various supplies. And yeah, that's uh, that's going to be it. So what we'll do from here is um, in the next part, we're going to take off. We're going to set up a, a new plan to go from here out to Demos, because what I've done is I've taken a copy of this Aurora base that uh, Dimitri modified for Phobos, and I've put it on Demos. I put it on a location on Demos. So in the next video, we're going to set up some kind of a plan to do a transfer from uh, from Phobos out to Demos. All right, so let me go ahead and do a Control S to save this spot. Switch camera views. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. A bit shorter than normal, but that's okay. So I will see you in the next part.